What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today, this is the random fourth video of the day where I told y'all I was just gonna drop it at a random time in between my regular drops. Still not gonna tell y'all, I don't even know what time it's dropping at. At time of me making it. I don't know when it's dropping at, but y'all about to get it. <laughs> this video is actually from Capturing Christianity. I recently got put on to this channel from Kyle Whittington. He interviewed me recently. He actually has a Catholic channel. And I will be putting the link to his channel in the description box as well as the link to the interview where he interviewed me. Both will be in the description box so you can check them out. And he sent me an email recently saying, hey, you should react to this. I kind of want to hear your perspective on it. So Kyle, I got you. I got you, Kyle. You already know that. Let's get into this and see what it's about. It says three very important updates. So let's see what, what they're talking about. Hi, hello there, Cameron here. So I've got some pretty big news to share with you okay. today, but before I get to the big announcement, I want to make you aware of a couple things regarding the operations of Capturing Christianity. So okay. first, Capturing Christianity will actually be phasing out of Catholic versus Protestant content. If you followed this channel for very long, you'll know that I've been personally investigating the truth claims of the Catholic Church and then documenting that journey on this channel. I've debated Matt Frad, I've hosted debates between Catholics and Protestants, and so on. So we'll, we'll actually be phasing out of that content and returning to our roots of defending mere Christianity. I'll explain the reason for this okay. shift in focus in a moment. Second, okay. uh, I need to make you aware of the financial situation that Capturing Christianity is currently facing. So over the past year or so, we've been operating at a net loss each month. And as of November, 2022, this deficit has grown to nearly $3,000 per month. Yo, that's crazy. You're negative 3K every month? How are y'all surviving? How are y'all, look at me, look at me. How are you surviving and you in the red by that much every month? Bro, all right, my bad. I'm a, I'm a big financial number person. So hearing that it's like, yo, how are you functioning? How? As you can imagine, this is not sustainable. Not at all. In fact, I estimate that if the deficit continues to grow at the rate it's been growing, capturing Christianity will be forced to shut down operations within about six months. No. Okay, so I haven't been following this channel for very long. Maybe, when did Kyle interview me? Like two or three weeks ago? He's the one who put me on the channel, so I had no idea. Um, if you guys shut down, so this ain't at your house. This is at a studio or something, I'm assuming. Why can't you just run this out your house? It's YouTube. I don't, do they do more? You know what, let me finish. Let me no finish. more interviews, no more debates, no more conferences. It's all going to go away. And uh, this will obviously also, also mean that Brittany and I are both out of jobs. Now, having said all that, I do not believe that this is the end of capturing Christianity. If you'd like to play a part in ensuring that Capturing Christianity continues to expose the intellectual side of Christian belief to millions of people online, we need your support more now than ever. It's absolutely critical that we get this ministry to the break-even point financially, where we have enough income each month to cover our expenses. And to do this, we need new monthly donors on Patreon. That's why I need to ask you to consider becoming a regular monthly donor. If you see value in the content that we produce here on Capturing Christianity, if you'd like to, to keep learning how you can defend your own faith, keep the content reinforcing the faith of others and bringing new people to Christ, then please become a monthly supporter today. We have some great gifts and benefits that we'd like to give you in return as thank yous for your support. You can actually read all about the perks that you'll receive at patreon.com slash capturing Christianity linked in the description of the video. I want to stress though that our current deficit is something that we can overcome and every dollar a month that you can donate gets us one dollar closer to the break-even point. That's going to give this ministry financial security and let us keep producing honest, informative, intellectual Christian content for years into the future. Just visit patreon.com slash capturing Christianity to become a new donor. All right, let's check that out real quick. Also, so my sister-in-law is really good at finding um, like grants. That's like her whole thing. She'd be finding business grants for um, people 
and like nonprofit ones as well. If you are running this as a ministry, you like I don't know what state they're in, so I don't know how that works either. Um, but he needs to hook up with somebody who knows how to do all that, and you can get all of this funded by the government. He he needs to look into all of this. But let's check out this this uh Patreon real quick. All right, y'all. So this is the Patreon. This is about as zoomed in as I can get without like my little box right here covering anything. So it says exposing the intellectual side of Christian belief. That's pretty dope. Select a membership level. So for $5 a month, you gain early access to all my content and be entered to win monthly giveaways. And you gain access to the Bereans, an exclusive Patreon-only Facebook. Okay, $5 a month? That ain't bad, y'all. Come on. That's like going and getting a cup of coffee, a Dunkin' Donuts. You, you just cutting that out once a month to pay for this. That's actually not bad. Uh, this one, $10 per month says gain early access oh it's the same thing so the new one would be get access to patreon exclusive videos that's cool and then the third one which jumps you up to 25 per month so maybe you skip maybe you skip a week of coffees you know five dollars a day so for a week you make coffee at home and instead you just donate it here so you get all the same things from this tier except now you can gain access to monthly two-hour Zoom meetings with Cam, other patrons, and special guests. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, there's seven levels. Hold on now. What other levels y'all got? You got a $50 per month level. Everything from above, plus chat with Cameron one-on-one -on, -one on any topic you choose for 30 minutes. You got $100 per month. Ooh, that's the big money. That's the big money. Be an active member of our CC small group on Marco Polo. On Marco Polo. <laughs> Okay, video chat with Cam and other members daily. 150 per month. Now it says at this tier, you will be able to select a YouTube video of your choice within reason that you'd like me to do a full response to. 500, ooh, ooh, my man. You gotta be rich to do this. Look at 500 a month. Oh no, baby, you gotta be family for 500 a month. That's good luck. You got to have money, money to do this. You'll get all the above, plus you'll achieve the coveted BTW status, which just means that, by the way, you're amazing for supporting CC at this amount. No, bruh, no. You got to give a better. <laughs> you can't do everything the other tiers. This just jumped from 150 to 500 just to be like, by the way, you amazing. No, you got to give something else. <gasps> oh, that's crazy. It says he has, oh, you got a black, oh, look at you, dipping in the chocolate. I see you, I see you, bro. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say was 473 patrons. <laughs> it says the $10 is the most um, popular one, whereas the other one, I don't know what everybody's getting, but let's just assume, uh, we're just going to average it out. Let's just say all 473 is paying $10. That's forty-seven thirty a month, but he's in the negative, the negative. So he's at negative three G's. I don't know how. I don't know what your expenses or anything looks like. That's so much to be in the red. That is just so much. That's crazy. Look, this it says, "Hey guys, I'm Cameron Bertuzzi, and welcome to the Capturing Christianity Patreon page. <laughs> Thank you for considering supporting us. It means a lot." If you'd like to see how Capturing Christianity is impacting the lives of Christians and non-Christians, check out our testimonials page on our website. I'm floored that God is using CC to impact so many people. If one-time giving is more your style, visit the following link to make a one-time donation. Oh, that's nice. By the way, Christianity is true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And then, obviously, if we were a Patreon, we would be up in here. Okay, so you guys see, go to the Patreon. Matter of fact, I always put uh, the videos I'm reacting to, I put the video link in my description box. So go ahead and hit that link. Go over to his channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe his content. And then hit his Patreon link. And and go ahead and hit him with the one-time donation. Or or pick the 5 or 10. Pick the monthly one. Do whatever you need to do. They're not asking me to do this. I'm just putting it out there. And if you leave a comment, let them know where you came from. Let them just be like, hey, it's your girl saying sent me over here. <laughs> Now, if you don't like Patreon or prefer to give like a one-time donation, we do have other ways to give. To do that, visit capturingchristianity.com donate. But during this time, we really need to hear from new monthly donors. 
on Patreon. All the little links that I've mentioned are in the description. Okay, so with these two initial items out of the way, it's time for the big announcement. Yeah, what's the announcement? So the big announcement is that on September 20th, 2022, I decided to become Catholic. I'm currently in an RCIA program and okay. will be confirmed this coming Easter. This decision came at the tail end of a deep study into the evidence for and against the papacy. As a Protestant, I went into the study with an open mind. I, ultimately, I told myself that I would follow the evidence wherever it leads, even if that conclusion is uncomfortable for me or for my family. My Protestant friends were very confident that it would result in a deep confirmation of my existing Protestant beliefs, but they were wrong. What I found was that the evidence strongly suggests that the papacy is true. Now, the point of this video is not to go into all of the details regarding my conversion. Now that my journey on this subject has concluded, we'll no longer be capturing that type of content on this channel. As I mentioned earlier, we're, we're going to get back to our roots of defending mere Christianity. We'll That's be cool. covering philosophical arguments for the existence of God, arguments against theism like the problem of evil, historical arguments for the resurrection, and so on. That's that's what you can expect moving forward on capturing Christianity. And in fact, just to kind of fill you in, I recently engaged in a written formal debate with an atheist on the topic of the logical problem of evil. It'll take a couple weeks to turn that debate into videos, but that'll be up on the channel in the coming weeks. We'll also be releasing the in-person interviews we filmed at CCV2 on the topic of science and God. And then also uh, Alex O'Connor, the, the cosmic skeptic, he's making another appearance on Capturing Christianity where he'll be debating Dr. Joshua Sejuati on God's existence. All of that's coming up soon. We have lots of great apologetics content coming your way in the immediate future. So Don't. stay tuned. Now, Don't. so even... You know what I find interesting about this? In the very beginning, in the very beginning of this video, he stated that his channel was to debate uh, Christianity, what, what is it, it was Protestant values or whatever against Catholicism. That's that's basically what he said in the beginning of this video. That's what he would, the type of videos he would do. Isn't that funny how like debating that has led him to now being Catholic? <laughs> that's like, you know what that reminds me of? The guy, it was like a book in a movie about this. Some guy was trying to find biblical evidence that Jesus was not real and Christianity was crap. And cause his uh, wife and daughter was like gonna be Christian. That's the premise of it. I had never seen it, but I know that's the premise of it. And what turned out happening was he was like a journalist. And what ended up happening is that apparently with all of his research, he found out it was all true. And then he ended up becoming a Christian. So that's, <laughs> that's what sounds like what happened to Cam. He he was like, oh, yeah, let me debate all these people and get on them. And just to be like, oh, oh, so that was right. I will be Catholic now. <laughs> That's interesting. That's kind of funny. Even though I won't be sharing the details of my conversion in this video, I will be talking about the details of my conversion on other channels. So, in fact, Matt Frad got so excited about this news, as you can imagine. He decided to pay to fly me out to the Vatican, the what? one in Rome to detail my journey on his channel. So if you're interested in my reasons for conversion, the impact this decision has had on me and my family and all the rest, then join Matt, Frad and I live on Pints with Aquinas from the Vatican tomorrow. I've got the link to that video in the description. Thanks for watching and remember, Christianity is true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Also, that's dope. You getting flown out to the Vatican? I don't care if you believe in that or not. Somebody flying you out, that, you know how expensive that is? <laughs> you know how expensive that is? That's actually pretty cool. Um, my whole thing is, I'm more shocked at how much of a deficit hole you are in, sir. Like, I don't care about you converting over to Catholicism. I mean, you, you said you did the research. That's between you and your family. That doesn't really bother me. Um, let's uh, check out some of these comments and see if everybody is as happy as uh, as he is about his decision. All right, y'all, so here goes one. I hope you can see it. It says, praying for the financial situation to improve. Yeah, because that's the issue with this video. There's really no other issues. <laughs> Though Team Protestant just took an L. Ooh. I'm glad you're still gonna be doing content on mere Christianity. Oh, it went positive. 
One of the reasons I became a donor is because of how much value you brought to the intellectual side of the faith by exposing me to so many academics. Super grateful for that. Aw, that's actually really nice. We're going to give you a thumbs up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think you've made the wrong decision. But I have the utmost respect for being so open about your convictions through all of this. Must be extremely hard. Why do you think he made the wrong decision? Let's keep it going. Here goes a good one. Dang. Praying for capturing Christianity and that the financial situation will improve. Yes. Yes, that needs to improve a lot. Also, congratulations on becoming Catholic in September of this year. Huge. I'm in your shoes as well. Currently Protestant. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Here goes another one. I did not renew my annual subscription earlier this year because times are tight for our family as well. Yeah, I mean, they don't want to say it. Inflation has gone up. We're in a recession. It, it's tight for everybody at this point. So I, that's okay. You don't have to renew it if it means keeping your household in order as well. But you put out some of the best Christian content on YouTube. It may even be setting the standard for quality. I'm back on. We've got you, bud. A, A. Thumbs up for you too. Um, I like comments like that. Oh, here we go. I'm not even Catholic and I'm excited for you, man. Same. I appreciate your intellectual honesty and your ability to follow the evidence where it leads. Even though I'm sure this decision is incredibly costly to you, you are inspiring, Cameron. Yeah, I mean, to be this much in debt and to be like, hey guys, I'm gonna be over here now. How many people watching this channel is just gonna be like, Ugh, that's where you're going. Can't watch this anymore. I mean, because you're, you're going to have people that leave. And that's just natural. Everybody's not going to stay. But that's a tough position to be in when financially it's already not so good. But I believe that if you believe that you made the best decision for yourself and your family, God will bless you through all of this. And I think you'll be okay. All right, we're going to end it on this one. It says, and it's not a good note, just to let y'all know it's not a good note. But I got to show the negativity as well. It all can't be positive and happy. Yeah, nobody is surprised that someone who simped, ooh, buddy, for the heresies, lust, and the passions of the RCC would convert to being one of the RCC cultists. Hope you turn back, but claiming to be wise, many become fools. Apologetics is as damning for you as it was for Ravi. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a hater. Ugh, why are you hating so hard? And why does it bother you? <laughs> okay? Um, so I'll tell you guys something that I, I guess from when I was atheist and also like the very beginning of my Christian journey, all I heard most of my life was that um, Catholics were evil. <laughs> That's like the general assumption, right? And then the beginning of my Christian journey, all I heard from a lot of people in my Christian group is that like, oh man, Catholicism is evil, they got it wrong. I remember one day they had put up some pictures from inside of a Catholic church and it did look like some little statues of demons that was up in there. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. And people sit in front of this? That is kind of odd. But I don't think it's like that at every Catholic church because I've been to a Catholic church before when I was younger. I went with my brother, it's my cousin, but I call him my brother. I went my brother and his parents for Easter one year, and it did not look like them pictures. It just looked like a regular church on the inside. So I don't know what church that was, but every church don't look like that. And it just feels like everybody says it's evil and wrong because of news articles of things that didn't happen throughout our time of it being used incorrectly. But just because some people used it for evil, it doesn't inherently mean that the religion itself is evil. At the end of the day, it's still Christianity. I kind of view it as just another denomination. I'm gonna be real with you. Do I look, cause I look at all the other denominations too and I don't get why all y'all are different and do different things from each other. That's why I'm non-denominational. Cause I just don't get it. Like, and it ne nothing ever resonated with me, including Catholicism, but I can't sit here and be like, oh, y'all church is evil. Cause I watch a lot of street preaching videos too where the average unbeliever is angry and then they'll be like, nobody wants to talk to y'all. Y'all are the reason nobody likes this Catholic church. And then the street preacher will be like, first off, we ain't from the Catholic church and we condemn them because they are straight evil. And then the unbeliever's like, oh, well, I still got problems with you. <laughs> it's just like, and they're still going back and forth. 
<laughs> and I just, I don't get it. Like I understand, like I said, just because certain people use religion to do evil, it doesn't mean religion inherently itself is evil. Because the way I look at it, all these different denominations of Christianity and whatnot, because we all, it seems like everybody got their own little thing they do, right? And they all interpret the Bible in their own little special way. At the end of the day, we all believe in Jesus. Do we not? Do we not believe in Jesus? We all do. All of us that are Christian believe that. And what does they say? And what, what do they say? If you believe in Jesus Christ, you have to believe in him. You have to believe in the son to get to the father. It sounds like we all really playing on the same team. And I feel like we all be arguing with each other about really stupid minor stuff. I and mean, we all are, are on the same team about everything. But that's just my opinion. Y'all can believe what y'all want. Y'all can do what y'all want. But, bro, I'm happy for you if you feel this is the right thing for you. Cool. Y your financial situation. I'm going to pray for your financial situation. That that has to get better. That has to get way better. But, um, yeah, cool little video. Kyle, thank you for uh, sending me that so I could react to it. Like I said, the link to his channel is in the description box down below. So you guys head to his channel so you can uh, check out his content. He interviews a lot of people and gets their testimony stories. It's actually really cool. And um, the link to him interviewing me is gonna be in the description box below. So if you are curious, you can check that out as well. And until next time, you already know who it is. It's saying. Yeah, yeah,